Hey guys, Perry from Rockville here, and today I'm gonna teach you how to set up your Pro D7 7 drum mic kit. This kit is perfect for micing your drums for any live performance or recording setups. So as you can see, you'll get a bass drum mic, four dynamic drum mics, two overhead condenser microphones, seven mic clips, and an aluminum travel case to bring your mics on the go. So the first thing I wanna show you is how to attach the microphone to each mic clip. So one of the great things about these mics is that each one comes with its own thread to screw onto the mic clips. So we'll just grab one microphone, and one mic clip. Another great thing about this mic kit is that each mic clip comes with its own adapter piece for each microphone so that they can fit onto different kinds of stands. So then we'll just line up the two pieces and then we'll just screw the microphone onto the clip. We're just gonna do the same thing with all of these other mics now. Now we can do the same exact thing with the bass drum mic and its included mic clip, but we can also set it up with its own stand for more control of where the mic is placed. So let me show you how to do that next. All right, so here I have my RKDS that I'm going to use to hold my bass drum mic. So just like with my mic clips, I'm just going to take my microphone and screw it onto the thread of the mic stand. All right, so for our overhead microphones, we're gonna wanna be sure to have mic stands like these that reach over our drum set. Now the first thing we can do is take the mic clip and the condenser mic and just slip it onto the mic clip. Gonna do the same exact thing for the next one here. The great thing about these mic clips is that they come with an adapter piece on the inside to fit onto different kinds of stands. So now I'm gonna take the microphone and the mic clip and screw it onto the microphone stand. Now we're gonna do the same exact thing on the other stand here. All right, so now that we've got all of our microphones set up, let me show you next how to set them up with our drum kit. All right guys, so here we are with the bigger set and my drum kit here. So now let me show you how to attach the microphones to each drum. So as you'll notice, each mic clip comes with this flexible latch here that we're going to use to attach the microphone to each drum. So we're gonna start by taking this hook part here and lining that up to the bottom of the drum head like so. And then we're gonna push up on the entire mic clip until this top part of the latch here hooks onto the top of the drum head. And then as soon as you hear that click sound, you'll know that the mic is attached securely to the head. And these grooves here on the latches can be used to bring the mic closer to the drum as well. Now we can actually adjust the microphones themselves after we've attached them to the drum. The first way we can do that is by loosening up this back knob here. And then after we do that, we're able to raise or lower the microphone along the clip like so. And once you've found the right position, we can just tighten the knob back up. Then we can use this knob here on the side to point the microphone directly to the drum. And after you adjust it, you can tighten it up to secure it in place. So now we can do the same exact thing with the other microphone. So since we attached the bass drum mic to the stand earlier, we can now place it in front of the bass drum like this, or if your drum has an open face like mine or even a hole on the skin, we can place it even further into the drum for a different kind of sound. So now that we've got the dynamic mics and the bass drum situated, let me show you how to set up the overhead mics. So typically we wanna set the overhead mics above the drum set to pick up the sound of the cymbals and the overall kit itself. For example, we wanna position the mic just over the ride cymbal so that we're able to hear the ride in our mix. And then once we found the right position, we can tighten our knobs all the way back up. And we wanna be sure this overhead mic reaches over the hi-hat and the crash cymbal to pick up the sounds of those. All right. So now that I've got all the microphones set up, we can now hook them up to a mixer for live sound or an audio interface for recording. First, let me show you how to set them up for live performance. All right, so typically for a live setup, you'll see a powered mixer that powers two passive speakers. Now to connect the microphones to the mixer, we're gonna need an XLR cable for each microphone. So we're just gonna take the female end of each XLR cable and plug that into our microphone. Then we'll take the other end and plug that into a channel on our mixer. Now we're gonna do the same exact thing for the other mics. All right, so now that I have all of my microphones connected to the mixer, let's go ahead and turn the mixer on. Now we're gonna wanna raise the gain on each channel. Then we're gonna wanna raise the faders on each channel as well. Now since the overhead mics are condenser mics, we're gonna wanna press the phantom power button on the mixer to power up those microphones. And now to hear the drums through the speakers, we're gonna wanna raise the main left and right faders. 
But if your mixer or interface doesn't have phantom power, you can actually insert a AA battery into the microphones that will power them for you. Then whenever you're ready to use the overhead mics, you can flip the power switch button on. Now we can use the mixer to really mix the sound of each microphone and use the built-in EQs and effects of the mixer to really dial in the sound. So now let me jump behind the kit and play a bit so we can hear the mics through the speakers. Now we can use a very similar setup but with an audio interface to record the sound of our drums to our computer. So let me show you how to do that next. All right, so now for this setup, we're gonna need an audio interface as well as a Mac or PC with a DAW like GarageBand, Audacity, or Pro Tools. To hear back your recordings, you're gonna to wanna to use headphones or powered speakers. So similar to our last setup, we're gonna need XLR cables to connect our microphones to the interface. Then you'll take the female end of each cable and plug that into the microphone. Then you'll take the other end and plug that into a channel on your interface. Now when you're using your interface with your DAW, you just want to make sure to go into your sound settings and set the input and output to the interface you're using. So now that we've got each microphone connected to the interface, we can go ahead and raise the gain on each channel. And once again, we want to turn on phantom power for the condenser microphones. Then we're going to want to make seven audio tracks for each microphone on our session. Now you're going to want to name each track on your session after the drum that you mic'd up and plugged into your interface. So for example, if I plugged in my kick drum into channel one on my interface, I'm going to name the first track kick drum. So whenever I'm ready to record, I'm just going to record enable my tracks. Then I'm going to press record and lay down the drums on my session. showed you guys how easy it is to set up your Pro D7 7 drum mic kit. But of course, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to reach out to our customer support team through phone or email. As always, guys, I'm Perry from Rockville, and I'll see you next time.